Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is your boy and welcome back to Lou Game Lunchtime Games Club, everybody. We are back indeed we are. Now let us get right back into it. Apologies if I mess up my words in advance, everybody, because it's been a very long time since I last recorded, and apologies if there were any nerves showing. Anyway, let's go. A few days later, I'm waiting the hall outside of Tifa's classroom. The bell's already rung, bring, but I don't see her come out. Or ding dong, I don't know. Glancing around myself, I step inside, only to see Tifa? Her face down on the desk. My best friend sleeps soundly. Hmm. I try not to laugh, shaking her shoulders lightly. <laughs> hey, Tifa, wake up. It's time to go to the club. Uh, club? She mumbles sleepily, letting out a yawn as she opens one eye. <laughs> no point. What do you mean? The party's taken care of, right? So what am I needed for with Alex, Katie, and Stacy there? It's not a competition, Tifa. You're still a member of the club. Sure, just not a useful one. Thought I could be, but I kinda doubt it now. No, Tifa! Tifa. She stretches, sitting up slowly with another yawn. <sighs> oh! I leap back in surprise! <laughs> Tifa, since when have you been the time to get into fights? Fights? What are you <laughs> talking about? Who did this to you? I touch her face lightly, but she swats my hand away annoyed. <clears throat> Stop being stupid. I don't I didn't get into any fights. Then <laughs> I just... had a late night. I cannot but lift my eyebrow at that nanny! Another one? But our next test isn't for another two weeks. What are you studying so early for? Tifa purses her lips awkwardly. Mm -hmm. I... wasn't exactly studying. I stare at her eyebrow lift curiously! Curiously! Okay, then what were you doing? Explain! She shrugs idly. Busy? I say that, but then I remember her online busy status for the past few nights. I th a thought occurs to me. What? Are you playing LOL again? Tifa's tone is surprisingly defensive. So what if I was? It's fine! In fact, I just got some awesome armor from these gold-tiered loot boxes the other day. I thought you hated microtransactions. Shrugging, Tifa stands from her spot, taking a moment to stretch. I... I didn't buy them. They were a gift from some members of Rabble Rouser's guild. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm glad you're having fun, but maybe you should slow down a little. I thought you seemed more tired than usual lately, but I didn't want to bring it up. I've seen how Tifa gets in practice mode, but even I have to admit it's a little weird for her to play so much without any tournaments in sight. Be careful, alright? Remember to get some fresh air. You're worrying too much. Honestly, if, you, if you'd stop bringing it up, I'd be fine. And I am. I'm totally fine, okay, Juan? If you say so. Well, I do! So stop talking about it! Tifa's outburst makes me pause for a moment. Tifa's outburst makes me pause for a moment. I stare at her when she drops her gaze, sighing. Look, sorry. I'm just kind of tired. Let's just get to club, okay? Nodding slowly, I follow behind her. Okay. Tifa walks into the club room, her bad mood an almost visible cloud above her head. You're late. Whatever. Excuse me? Today is the final club meeting where we get to plan for Alex's party. She's not here today, which makes it a perfect time to choose the party games. Katie pumps her fist energetically. Party! Games! <laughs> party, games, party, 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 games, party, games! That's the right attitude, Bolts. Tifa, why didn't you answer my messages last night? I was busy. Busy doing what? You couldn't take time out of your precious evening to come up with even a single game to play? Yeah, just like you can't get it through your precious skull that Alex doesn't even want to have a party. Cece smiles through good teeth. Oh god! Oh, because you know my friend oh so well. Um, guys? Shut up, shut up! Katie ducks behind me, looking worried. Oh, guys, guys, Katie didn't do anything. Why don't we all just... Take a deep breath and relax, okay? Like so. <sighs> Whatever. I'll plan this without her if I have to. I don't have time for attitude, and I certainly don't need your help. Good. I didn't want to help anyway. Fine! Oh god! Tifa sits at the table far from the rest of us and lays her head on the desk. A word expression on her face. Katie reaches out her hand towards Tifa. Tea. I stop her, resting a hand on her shoulder comfortably, comfortingly. Don't, don't worry, it'll be okay. I think Tifa just needs some time to cool off. Why don't you go and help Stacy come up with some party games to play in the meantime? Oh, damn it. Okay. Katie hesitates, her eyes flickering between the two, two other girls with uncertainty. While you do that, I'll go talk to Tifa. Does that sound good to you? Well... Katie doesn't respond for a long moment before nodding slowly. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, sorry if the voices are a little off, but it's been a long while. Once Gatine sees you're occupied, I sit next to Tifa. Please get a hand on her shoulder. Hey. <laughs> don't. Just leave me alone and let me sleep. Tifa. I said don't! Can I just ask you a question? Mm. She looks up at me for a brief moment before putting her head back down on the desk. No. How long has it been since you've gotten a full night's rest? What does that matter? Well, you get irritable when you're tired, but I've never seen you so... Uh, agitated? I mean, arguing with Stacy? Is that what this is about? Me insulting your precious Stacy? I let out a scoff. <laughs> oh, come on! You can't be serious! I'm just trying to help! Well, like I said when we started this conversation... I know, I know. Don't. Tifa puts her head back down, shutting her eyes to sleep. Stacy shoots me a confused look across the room, but I shrug slowly, not sure what to say. Oh, it's all going downhill! Actually, hold up. Oh, there, that's right. That's good. CG, everybody, CG for the thumbnail. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. After school, I find an interesting figure in front of me, waiting in the school hall. How's it going, Guan? Fine, except for the fact that I'm in the Twilight Zone! <laughs> what brings you over here? I look around us. You're not worried about seeing being uh, yeah. You're not worried about being seen with me in public. Or, yes, sorry, sorry. You're not worried about being me. Blah, 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 blah. You're not worried about being seen in public with me. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, sorry. You're not worried about being seen with me in public, are you? Ha ha ha! Hilarious. She crosses her arms, staring at me. Look, I'll be straightforward. What's going on with Tifa? Is there anything I can do to help? Cece showing interest in someone else's well-being? Now that's a shocker. Why are you asking? Don't be weird about this one. Pinky may be fun to tease, but I try not to go too far because, well, she is kind of my friend, I suppose. Be skeptical. Be sincere. We shall be sincere. Oh, man. Stacy's nice. Be sincere. I smile. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy is Stacy, after all. Honestly, I think Tifa maybe just needs some space. She's been pretty tired lately, so she probably just needs some sleep. Are you sure? Positive. That's lame, but whatever. If she'll listen to you better than me, which she probably will, tell her that I said, I'm sorry. I can't hide my surprise. <laughs> Come again? You heard me! I'm not going to repeat myself! Abruptly, Stacy turns on her heel, walking down the hall in quick steps, leaving me standing in the middle of the hall. I can't help but stare at her. Sorry, huh? <laughs> I can only wonder if Tifa will listen. Hey, Stacy! What? With only the slightest hesitation, Stacy turns to face me, her hands on her hips. Why don't you tell her yourself? What? Me? Yeah, she might respond better to it if she didn't hear it secondhand. Hmm, I do have plans tonight, though. Stacy looks bothered by the idea for a moment for that. Stacy looks bothered by the that. Stacy looks bothered by the idea for a moment before letting out a sigh. Sorry. Stacy looks bothered by the idea for a moment before letting out a sigh. Before letting a sigh, yeah, sure. Okay, fine. How about this? I'll arrange my driver to stop by on Monday morning to pick you two up for school. I'll be able to talk to her then. You have a private car to you to school every day? She covers her mouth, letting out the type of condescending laugh that only an anime heiress could have. <laughs> what, did you think I had to walk? How common of you. Brushing her hair over her shoulder, her bracelets jingle delicately. Brushing her hair over her shoulder, her bracelets jingle delicately as she turns and continues strutting down the hall, a cool smile on her face. Yeah, oh sorry. Alrighty, moving on! I stand outside my house, waiting for Tifa to make an appearance! Actually, this would be pretty convenient for me too, considering I haven't been able to go to school with Tifa much lately. Usually we go together, but lately she's been kind of... well... late. I glance at her windows, but she... but the blinds are shut. Come on, where are you? Last night when I had messaged her, she said she'd be fine with coming to school with me, so she should be here any minute. Good morning! Stacy's voice rings out from the street, her sleek black car standing out strangely against the other middle-class vehicles on the block. She steps out of the car. Where's Pinky? I'm not sure, actually. I messaged her already, but I didn't get an answer. I'll knock to check. Knock, knock, knock! Going around the divide between Tifa's house and mine, I wrap my knuckles lightly against her door. Hmm, ellipses, a beat goes by. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing. Nothing? Sorry, no. Ugh, at this rate, I'll be late for school. Gross. Message me, message me her number and I'll try calling her. 
If you haven't already, she can- If you haven't already, can you send her a message? Wouldn't it be easier for you to be the one to message her since you already have her? Just do it! Shrugging, I opened the messenger app as she has, unshamedly taking the easier path over arguing. Hey Tifa, Stacy's here to pick us up. Are you almost ready? I sent the message, but not only is it unread, but I can see Tifa's busy status even now. More noticeable is the fact that it's in that in that. More noticeable, more noticeable is the fact that in small ital I I and italicized letters beneath their status are four words. Playing Legions of Legends! Even more bothersome is the time step beneath them! Playing time 13 hours! Damn it. 13? I use some quick math. That makes you sort of like, wait, wait, after dinner last night? Oh, jeez. I type out another message. Tifa, did you stay up all night playing video games? I knock on the door again. Tifa! She's not picking up her phone either. Yeah. Stacy looks at me, uncertainty written on her face. What? What should we do then? Is it okay to just leave? Well, I'm not really sure I want to, but Stacy's earlier stand about being late lingers in my mind. I don't exactly want to be late either. I wrote her a message. We should probably get to school. Hmm. I step off her porch towards the car. We'd better go. Oh no! In the school hallway, Stacy and I are silent as we walk side by side. I wonder if Pinky is okay. Problem. The sound of Stacy's phone ringing cuts me off. Bring! It's Sifa. She's calling me. I check my own phone message. Red, but there's no reply. Nice. Nice. Uh, ha hello? CG, everybody! Uh, hello? Hey, what happened to you this morning? We were seriously worried! Um, um, I'm not feeling well. Not feeling well? I feel strangely, I feel strangely skeptical, but it is true that I didn't see much of her this weekend. I, w I wanted to say, I wanted to say sorry for last Friday's meeting. I wasn't trying to make you mad, okay? <coughs> sorry. I wasn't trying to make you mad, okay? Yeah, that's totally fine. Tifa's answers are kind of brief, but Stacy doesn't seem to notice, chattering incessantly. Look, I know you weren't much for the party planning, but could you do us all a favor and bring something to drink to the party on Friday? Anything is fine. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Friday? Yes, are you listening? What's that noise in the background? It's, uh... She trails off mid-sentence. <laughs> You thought you'd escape my double broadswords, didn't you? <laughs> Try healing up from this one. <laughs> Pinky! Oh, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Uh, listen, I've got to go. Wait, can you bring the drinks or not? I'm sure can. Bye! <laughs> at the sound of the call ending, Stacy stares at her phone incredulously. Ugh, the nerve! It's okay. It most certainly isn't. She's lucky I'm so forgiving. I pat a fuming Stacy on the shoulder as the bell rings. Let's just make it to Friday's party. All right. New game, Lunchtime Games Club. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> you got the cupcakes, right? Gingerbread ones like I told you? Yes. Stacy claps her hands together. Yep. Good. good. Bolt. Good. Bolt. Did you contact Alex? Affirmative. She should be here any second now. Why does that even matter? It's not like this is a real surprise party. I mean, how can it be if she already knows about it? Less talking, more placing cutlery on individual plates. Stacy flits around the room in a way that I'd call, well, excitable. If not for the fact that it's Stacy I'm talking about, Katie's usually energetic. Katie's the usual. Katie, yeah. Katie's usually the energetic one, after all. Part of me wonder if she's just excited to be bossing me around. One, I don't see ice in the buckets! One, I don't see ice in the buckets! That's because it's in the cooler. Oh. Oh, good. Putting her hands on her hips, Stacy grins triumphantly. <laughs> How absolutely perfect. <laughs> she checks her watch. When is Tifa going to get here? We still don't have an uh, When is Tifa going to get here? We still don't have drinks to go inside. I can grab some from the cafeteria. No, that shouldn't be necessary. Uh, wait. She looks at me. She did come to school today, right? I... Uh, I... Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry. Cece grits her teeth. Oh, God. <laughs> she said she would bring them! And I'm sure that she will! Cece lets out a huffy sigh. <sighs> what is her problem? I feel like lately, every time I want to talk to her, she's playing games! Cece's gaze flickers between me and KT. I can't be the only one who's noticed. Well, you're not wrong. It's true that her school attendance has become kind of... Well, sporadic. I mean... Exactly, Juan. Like, am I missing something here? 
Because, ugh, I don't get her at all! Assessment loading. What? Do you want to weigh in, Katie? Affirmative. I believe that Tifa is suffering from... She stomps her foot on the chair seat. A compulsive gaming habit! Compulsive gaming? I don't know. I mean, her behavior is strange, don't get me wrong, but what are you saying? She's addicted? Listen, Bolts, I hear you, but before we go any further, can you take those dirty shoes off your of yours from off the chair? I'm sorry. Listen, Bolts, I hear you, but before we go any further, can you take those dirty shoes of yours from off of the chair? That is way gross. Katie sighs, but does as Stacy asks. Hey, thank you. Now, what makes you think she's got a serious problem? I've been collecting data on Tifa's behavioral patterns. Katie, come on. She sighs again, pouting slightly before continuing. Um... <sighs> Sorry, dude. I've been watching the way Tifa's been acting lately. Cece and I exchanged looks. The same question on our minds. Since when? Yeah, since when? Kitty beams up at us, eyes sparkling. It may surprise you, but when we do not have that. It may surprise you, but when... It may surprise you, but when we do not. When we do not. It may surprise you, but when we do not have club meetings, Tifa will, on occasion, accompany me here from... Accompany... Sorry! It may surprise you, but when we do when we do not have club meetings. It may surprise you, but when we do not have club meetings, Steve will on occasion accompany me here for study sessions during study breaks, study periods. As such, I've had ample occasions to notice changes in her behavior. Sorry. Namely, she's been super weird lately. Katie's worries. Katie's worries evident by her expression. Super weird doesn't even cut it. Stacy. True, I barely see her, but I, true, I barely. True, I barely see her, but I've noticed that she's been been more restless. True, I barely see her, but I've noticed that she's been more restless than usual. And sometimes she gets annoyed with me. And sometimes she gets annoyed with me if I if I, blah, blah, I'm falling apart. <laughs> and sometimes she gets annoyed with me if I interrupt her while she's playing something on her phone. I guess I've noticed that she's been kind of playing off how much time she spent playing games when I've tried to talk to her about it. Not to mention that she's not here now. So, what are we going to do about it? I'm not sure there's anything we can do right now. KT cups her chin thoughtfully. Hmm. Agreed. Sometimes people have problems that are hard to deal with. In a weird way, that's almost rich coming from a resident robot, but it doesn't really make it less true. Yeah. There's a, there's a sound of footsteps outside of the door, breaking the serious mood. Uh, oh, she's here! Oh, she's here! Everyone in position! I'm pretty sure Alex already knows that we're throwing a party, but uh, but but that. I'm pretty sure Alex already knows that we're throwing a party, but I put myself in position, ducking behind the table as Katie quickly shuts off the lights. She opens the door slowly. Surprise! Oh, my throat. Surprise! 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 Oh. <laughs> to my surprise, Alex does seem, well, surprised and a little happy, if I'm honest. I thought you guys forgot it. I thought you guys forgot about this. Katie runs up to her, placing a triangular party hat on her head, accompanied by a matching satch. Negative. Bolts is right. I know you don't like a lot of fuss, but I also know that you don't get nearly enough praise for being the hard worker that you are. I mean, it's not much of a bar, but you're way more hard working than me, so... I stand by the idea that... I stand by the idea... That, I stand by the idea that that should... Not, I stand by the idea that that should be totally... I'm falling apart. Sorry. I stand by the idea that that should totally be celebrated. Hardworking? Her expression falls for a moment, but she picks it up so quickly that I think that I'm mistaken. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. She looks around the room. Where's Tifa? The room falls quiet for a moment. Tifa couldn't make it. I see. She pauses for a long moment. She pauses for a long moment before taking a seat. Okay. Is it because of me? What? Why would you think that? I know she felt that having a party was not in my best interest, but as I told her, I didn't mind having one. It's true that I don't find this kind of thing necessary, but it's not like I hate it. Did I offend Tifa in some way? CG? Yeah, CG. Oh, actually, hold on, wait, oh, before I continue. Let me see if I can find a good picture for the surprise. Yeah, okay, that's good. Surprise! <laughs> for the suit for the thumbnail. Okay, sorry. Moving on, moving on! Okay. Okay. It's not like I hate it. Did I offend Tifa in some way? No, not at all! I sigh. <sighs> She's just been kind of preoccupied. But also, well, I know sometimes she was feeling left out. 
I see. Then perhaps I should go and personally tell her how I feel. She stares down at the table for a moment. I'm surprised that she cares so much. Maybe she's more emotional than she comes across as? Before I can really, before I can really think on it, Alex flashes a bright, sudden smile. <laughs> Apologies for bringing down the mood. What have you got for me? Oh! Oh, oh, that's... Hmm? In... 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 Bread! Hey, what are you eating before the guest? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, why... Hey, why are you eating before the party guest? Where are your manners? Alex laughs quietly, and strangely, it feels like a real smile. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ugh, I'll be back. I need to grab some drinks from the cafeteria. Bolts, can you start passing out the plates? Affirmative! 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 As soon as she has a plate, Alex makes a beeline towards the frosted cupcakes. She takes a quick bite, then another, beaming. <laughs> Before I know it, two or, th two or three frosted cupcakes are gone. <laughs> Comment on it. Leave it alone. Comment on it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, hmm. That was our diamond. Coming on it? Coming on it. <laughs> Alex, Alex, do you like desserts? Uh, no, I, I do not enjoy. Uh, no, no, I do enjoy them from time to time, but. Uh, but you can't stop yourself from taking in a fourth cupcake? Uh, she blushes deeply, putting her plate back down. Well, it's not as though eating cake is particularly strange or anything. I didn't say it was. I just don't know much about you, so it surprised me. This is a no, ju this is a no judgment zone. Alex dabs the corner of her mouth with a pink napkin. Oops, <laughs> who knew Alex was so conscious of her image? She clears her throat awkwardly. When do you believe it's best for us to go? I would still like to offer my personal explanation so that Tifa will be less bothered. Um, maybe we can go after school today? I'm interested, let's do the other option. <clears throat> I grab my own plate and seat beside Alex. This is really good. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. We eat in relative silence, with Alex staring at me steadily. What? I was thinking on Tifa. I believe you are the one closest to her. Uh, I believe you are the one closest by her, yes? I guess so? Our houses are next door, so... That's not what I... Never mind. When do you believe it's best for us to go? I would still like to offer my personal explanation so that he will be less bothered. I would still like to offer my personal explanation so that Tifa will be less bothered. Um, maybe we can go after school today? 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 It's a little short notice. How about tomorrow? It's not a school day, so I'll have some time in the morning. Sounds good to me. You know what sounds good to me? I am absolutely uncertain. What is it, KT? More cake! More... Uh, more cake! Let's eat! Alrighty. Mouth stuffed with cake, KT asks a question. Ask a question. Alex! Hmm? What kind of job you got? Oh, oh, I'm curious about that. Oh, I'm curious about that too. Alex stares at us, bewildered. Translation, what kind of job did you get? Oh, oh, I see. What sort of job? She pauses mid-chew, then takes a moment to wipe her mouth. The kind that you work, of course. No, no, I think she means... The door opens with a literal kick. <laughs> Stacy's arm is full as she cradles two bottles in her arms. I've got the drinks! I hope you like juice and water, though, because, well, look where we are. The cafeteria isn't exactly bursting with options, and much less so, and much less so after school has already ended. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Over my, I have my mouth to say Alex's job, but the expression on Alex's face makes me change my mind. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't want to talk about it? We were discussing party games! What party games we want to play? Really? Yes, exactly. She avoids my eyes, her usual step forward smile plastered to her face. Stacy's nose wrinkles. Mm. Oh, well, oh, well, we already agreed on them, though. Oh, oh, well, we already agreed on them, though. No changing the list. No changing the list. She slams the drink bottles on the table, which I have a pretty off. Now drink up and get now drink up and get ready to lose. Also, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention that there is no manga today. Yes, I didn't see the manga thing because today we're joined by the wife of Sylvie. Yeah, okay. All right, and so, Lou game, lunchtime games club, everybody. All right, look at the little Alex. She's so cute. All right. Hey, one. Hmm. One. One. What the heck happened? Alex's firm voice knocks me out of my days. What the heck? <laughs> Date with the wife of Alex? Nani? I don't even know why for this. Okay, uh, whatever it is, we shall continue tomorrow, everybody. Okay, yeah, let me say here, but yeah. My guy has been so long. April, oh god. Anyway, that's all the time we got for this one. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My apologies once again for screwing up along the lines and having to repeat it and just fumbling over my words. My apologies for that. 
been a very long time since the last recording, but I think I did pretty okay, at least in the first half, you know, I'm pretty sure I might have killed that. <laughs> I did alright, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, so no manga today, only Sylvie everybody, yes, let's go wifey Sylvie. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and it feels good to be back. Once again, I apologize for the very long delay gap in videos and stuff, and how there has not been no videos in like two months, so my apologies for that once again. But thank you all so much for watching anyway, and uh, for sticking with me, and uh, putting up with my uh, very long absence. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like below. And if there's any of the games you'd like me to play, you want to talk, please comment down below as well. And if you guys enjoyed it and like some more, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bells. That'd be epically appreciated of you guys. And as always, my name is Jerry Bowling. I'm not going to let me guys smile. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Also, it feels really good to be back, guys. I'm so hyped to be back. Uh, no. Yeah, and bye. See ya. What's gonna happen next time? Who knows what's gonna happen? We're on a date with the wife of Alex in the middle of the forest. I have no idea. What is this flash forward? Are we married with the wife of Alex for no apparent reason? Who knows what it could possibly be? But let us find out next time on Lou Game Lunchtime Games Club. Lunchtime Game Club. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys. See ya. Have fun. Everyone enjoy your day, your night, whatever it is. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Yeah. Hope you guys are all doing well. Yeah. Awesome. Bye. See you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> all right. Bye guys. See ya. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yeah.